Hi, welcome to the Web Applications Development Tutorial. Today we are going to create REST Web Service and Solve Web Service. Let's start. First we need to create new project. Select Entity Template and select Web API for core references. Now we need to add controller. You need to select empty web API to controller. And let's define simple method that will return us string. Before we test it, we need to change the routing configuration. Now let's press F5 and test the results. In order to access API, we need to enter the following URL. Depending on the browser, the content will be returned either in the XML or in the JSON, depending on the content type sent in the request. For example, open the same URL in Mozilla Firefox. Right-click, Inspect Element. Switch to the Network tab, press F5. Click on the request. So by default the content type is application XML and the result is sent as an XML document. Now let's change the content type of the request. Now the result is in the JSON form. Now let's modify this method. It should accept the name as a string, as an argument. The method should return as hello, then space, then string passed as an argument. Now let's test the result. Now we need to update the controller. We need to use the singleton design pattern in order to store the list of the products in the memory. Then we need to add two methods. One to get the list of the products stored. Second to add new product. The products will be stored as a collection of strings. So this is a singleton design pattern. Now create two methods. Now test the results. First, check the list of the products. Then try to add new product. So the product was added successfully. But if I restart the project, all the products will be erased from the memory. Now let's create the SOAP web service. We need to create a separate project for that. Now build the project and add reference to the REST project.
and let's call the method of the soap web service using our rest web service and test the result Now let's update our service. Let the service have the same features as current controller. So we need to store the list of the products in the memory and we should be able to add products and to view all the products added. For that we need to change the interface first. Remove the elements that are unused. and add several methods. Then we need to switch to our service. Delete unused method. And implement the interface. Now we should use the singleton pattern to store the list of the products in the memory. Then implement the methods. Now build the soul project and update the service reference. Switch back to the controller and update current methods. Now test the results. Add couple of products. Now stop the bugging and start it again. And even if you stop debugging, stop the REST application, your products are still stored. It is because the SOAP service is running standalone from the REST service. That's the end of current tutorial. Thanks for watching.